Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool arcade game video for you today. Now, today I am going to film some of the music, actually, from this fantastic Daytona USA 2 arcade game that we've been playing around with. Some of the music in this thing was amazing. So uh, I'm going to crank it up a little bit and show you some of the different tracks that are in the uh, that are hidden in the test menu. Now the the uh, I believe there was a stereo uh, stereo. <laughs> I believe there was a double CD of this released years ago, but it's pretty hard to find those. They may be already on YouTube. I don't know, but I figured I'd just show you that they're how they're inside the. Uh, the actual test menu of the game. I actually did a video like this for the original Daytona 2 that's here on YouTube and people seem to enjoy it so I figured hey let's do it again. But uh, basically you can go into the test menu okay and then you've got all kinds of different options here and there is a sound test menu. I'm gonna turn up the volume a little bit so we can get into it. Okay, and so you got sound effects. Well, if I can get it to stop one. It says sound effects manual. So if you hit the start button, it will play some of the sound effects. That's basically the front left speaker, so let's turn it up a little more. Normal mode. Tournament mode. Please select the game mode. Please enter your social security number. <laughs> How about not? I don't think I will enter my social security number. Sega International Speedway. Challenge! So this, that says challenge Mitsu Yoshi. That's a Japanese gentleman, I assume, um, who does a lot of the singing on the songs, but he's not the guy that sings the famous uh, version of the song that you'll hear while you're playing the game. It's, I don't know why both are in here, but it's kind of neat. Challenge. So that's the other guy. Challenge. Max. Mix. So that's the, the uh, pit crew guy. It's distorted because he's talking to you over the radio. That was close. Oh, God. I've got to be careful. Piece of cake. I will get you. He is such a pain in the neck. Oh, Don't joke around. <laughs> Are you kidding? No way! Oh, no! I've done it! Damn it! You won't get away from me. <laughs> See you later. There's oil splattered all over. You're disturbing me. Shut up! Let me do my race. The victory cup is mine. I've got it. Our machine is a mess. I won't be surprised if one of our cars falls apart in the middle of the race. I hope the results turn out to satisfy the sponsors. When to go into the pit will be the key factor. I don't remember any of this while you're actually playing. I don't know how the hell you would ever hear any of this during the race. We do want points desperately. It depends on how the top teams race. We'll just concentrate on our own race. We'll just push and push. Just wait and see. Did you see that? He won by far! What's gotten into him? He's not himself today. I am totally disappointed. He's absolutely a loser. What the heck are you doing? But the condition of our car is not so good recently. I can just see my sponsors jumping in joy. <laughs> he is really something. Well, it serves him right. Well, it serves me right. My sponsors will be mad! That swine! That was a dirty stunt he pulled there. Oh well, I'll do better next time. Ah, this wasn't a good time to go into the pit. It's like, all of a sudden, the engine blows up. It's all my fault. That swine, I can't wait to pay him back. 
I'll have to start looking for a new job. <laughs> what should I tell my mom? What should I tell the owner? Oh man! What have I done? What were you watching? Are... Oh. What were you watching? Are you blind? No one could have dodged that. That guy crashed into me. Tom. Hello. Are you listening? Tom. I return the mic to you. We all hope you do well in the next race. This is so disappointing. You're having such an incredible race. The car just suddenly stopped. There seems to have been a huge crash. Hey, what's the matter? Let's hear about the cause of the retirement from the drivers. Let's hear about the cause of the accident from drivers. What is your strategy for today's race? I'd say he's in a very tough position. He's not in a good position at the moment, but hey, the race has just begun. <laughs> Doing good. I see you have a pretty good chance of winning a place. Wow, marvelous. He's at the top. How would you state the condition of your car? We tried to get a comment from the team crew. 15th turn. 14th turn. First turn, station hairpin, twister, dock crank, the 270, North Pole turn, Alamo turn, black hole, Dracula curve. It doesn't do that when you're playing it, so I don't know. Maybe it does if you're playing better than I can play. I don't know. Palm Rock Valley, Falls turn, New Joke City, Game Work Studio, Joypolis 2020, Forest Island, Phantom, Scorpio Plasma, Chumscum, Clover. All right. Birdline, Vantage Ground. There's so lots of that, right? Morrison, Tomahawk, 85, 66. One. Zero, zero, Tom West, Sega Sports Channel. Hey, you watching? Tom, please join us again for another race. Well, everyone, that's about it for today. The rest of the results are as follows. Third, second, first. Here are the final results of the Skyscraper 500. Here are the final results of the Pirate's Treasure 400. Here are the final results of the Sega 300. Here is the highlight of the race. What a great race. The... What a great race. The audience is very lucky to have seen such a fantastic race. I agree. Let's hope he does better in the next race. <laughs> Disappointing results for car number... He did it! He got the checkered flag! All right, we already did those, so... There's also a bunch of engine noises. Because uh, it was from the first game, it sounded different. Starship. Viking. City, the bay, the subway. All right. So these are the uh, these are the songs. So I'm going to play. There are two versions of some of the songs. There's the original version that's played during the game, and then there's the Mitsuyoshi version with a different singer, and it's a little hotter. He's got like more electric guitars and stuff in it a little bit. So on this first one, I'll play with the sound a little bit to try to get it where I think it sounds the best, and then uh, we'll see.
Okay, so that's the regular advertised version that you hear while you're playing it, and th the Mitsuyoshi one is on here as well. So listen to how this is just a little bit different. <laughs> So to me, that sounds like a completely re-recorded track. There's a little bit different stuff in it, but uh, whatever. And I, I, I just love like the the vibe of all of the music in this. It's it's real aggressive and it's uh it's very it's real fun and it makes you want to drive a damn car, you know. And so I don't know how much of it is I've just associated it with this game, or how much of it is where they were actually attempting to make it sound like something that you might hear when you're racing or something, you know. So. All of the tracks had their had a had their own so there were three tracks, beginner, advanced, and expert. And all of the tracks have their own song that plays while you're playing. And it's really long on here, they loop, so it's probably three or four minutes for each one. But there's a regular version and then there's a Mitsuyoshi version. So I'm gonna play the regular one and then the Mitsuyoshi version after that. So this is the regular one for the beginner track, which is pretty much like the most famous one that you've heard because everybody plays that beginner track.
All right, so that was pretty long. So, uh, it's kind of got that. That's an awesome song. It's kind of got like a throwback sound to it, though. You know, it sounds like. Uh, I think this was, you know, it would have been recorded in the late 90s. This came out in, I think, 98. But it, it sounds like something maybe out of the late 80s, you know. So let's play the Mitsuyoshi version and see if you can... Obviously, the uh, singer is different, but see if you can hear different instrumentation. Wait a minute. Wrong song. Let's restart it. So while I was playing, I looked it up, and so apparently Mr. Mitsuyoshi is the is the gentleman that composed the songs with another gentleman, and they hired a lead singer. Th that version there is his version of the song, what he composed, and he was the guy that sang the original Daytona theme song on the first game. Uh, but they hired a, a singer basically to to sing the version in this game, so they they opted not to use his version of the vocals. All right, so this is the regular advanced track, the second track, like while you're actually playing the game, this is the one that you'll hear in the game.
so that's the advanced track. So here's Mitsuyoshi's original version of the advanced track. Okay, so for the expert track, they did something completely different. It's just a completely different type of sound. So this is the this is what you hear uh, on the expert track while you're playing the game.
So that was completely different. So you might think that Yoshimitsu might not be able to handle that, right? But remember, he wrote all the songs with the other gentleman. Not the gentleman that the gentleman that's singing uh, on the regular tracks had nothing to do with writing them. This gentleman, Mitsuyoshi, wrote them, sang them, and then there was another gentleman that helped him uh, compose them too. So this is his original version of that. So you might think, okay, well there's all the songs for all of the tracks and it's both versions so there isn't any more, but you would be completely freaking wrong. There's all kinds of stuff in this thing. So here is what is labeled as how to.
So most of these are shorter because they're just for certain parts of the game. Like that one, How To, I think is a, is an alternate attraction mode one. So it plays the one during a track mode. Of, you know, the, the advertising on the real heavy one. And then it plays this one when it's showing you the part where it's showing you like how to do a power drift and, and all that crap. Okay. So this is called Selector. Oh, and none of these have vocals, so there's not a Yoshimitsu version and a regular version. There's just one version of all of these. So that one's called Selector. So that's why you're selecting the, it says, please select a track. Please select the car or whatever. While it's doing that, uh, you know, it only takes you about 30 seconds at most to do all of that. So usually you, and there's even a time limit. So you only hear like 30 seconds of that while you're playing it. So all of that stuff on the back end of it was composed, uh, recorded, uh, and everything, but really isn't even used in the game. I don't even know if it's possible to hear that part because I don't. I think the timer runs out after about 25, 30 seconds. Name entry. So this would be after you win, or after after you uh, do well on a track. It allows you to put your initials in and plays this music. So it sounds like on that one they were aware that it wouldn't be used for very long, so they didn't make it super long. Okay, so if you if you finish in the top three of any of the tracks, it plays a special ending for the track. I haven't finished in the top three, so I don't know if it's with video and everything, but it, it has its own music. So this is the ending of the beginner track.
And now we've got the ending of the advanced track. And of course the ending of the expert track. Now remember the expert track is the one with the really weird music. interesting okay now there is a second ending to the expert track I don't know maybe if you do really well you get a special ending or something but this is an alternate version of the expert ending Okay, you might think that's all, but you'd be wrong. <laughs> there is a goal, goal uh, music for the beginner track. Which is more like just a hit, you know, and then advanced. And then Expert, our favorite. All right, and then we're back to the Advertise. So uh, since I was playing with the sound a little bit, I'm going to play my favorite, Mitsuyoshi's Advertise. Uh, they call it Advertise, but it would have been in the Attract mode. So this is my favorite one out of all of them. So I'm gonna play it one more time and then that'll end the video.
right, folks. So there you go. That is the music of Daytona, of uh, Sega's fantastic Daytona USA 2. This is the power edition. I don't know if just the regular battle on the edge has the same stuff, but I would imagine it does because I don't believe you update uh, any of the ROMs on the soundboard whenever you, uh, uh, whenever you turn it from the battle on the edge version into the power edition version. And so I think all of the music is the same, and uh, I, presumably everything would be the same in the test menu like that. So there you go. If you can, track down the CD or a copy of the CD so that you can get the uh, original versions. And uh, it, apparently that's the guitarist from Winger <laughs> playing everything on that. <laughs> I'm not really into, like, metal that much, but that's some good stuff, man. I mean, they really caught the feel of the game, in my opinion. Just uh, fantastic. So, uh, leave your comments below. Let us know what you think about it. And if you remember playing these back in the day, and if you remember the soundtrack being awesome, and if you do, tell us all about it. Please select the level of the car.